Hello everyone. How are you guys today? Hope everyone is doing well. In today's blog is all about this beautiful goldfish plant. If you have a highlight area that calls for a hanging or table plant that flowers, goldfish plants are a perfect choice. And I will show you how I did the stem cuttings and propagate. I just bought this in a nearby nurseries. No blooms yet, probably is one of the reasons why I get it cheaper than other sellers. Whenever I have bought a plant, I will check if the plant is imported or local. Because if it is from overseas, they always use cocoa peat as a medium. So I had decided to cut the stem and replant to give the plant a new soil mix and a new look. If I will not propagate this plant, it will likely not going to prosper because its bottom are kinda hard to touch, just like a wood. So maybe the hardiness will slowly goes up and eventually the plant will die. Use a sharp clean knife to cut a stem section about 4 to 5 inches long and pick those stems that don't have any flowers or buds in them and cut below the leaf node. Remove any bottom leaves from the stem so that the bottom is left bare. Moisten the soil before planting and place them in a bright indirect light. If they have no roots yet and just propagated, make sure that they are moist but not too wet. But when they are rooted, only water when the top of the soil is dry to touch. Take few cuttings and plant them together. Keep the cuttings in a warm bright spot but away from direct sunlight. The cuttings should develop roots in about 2 weeks. About this mother pot, you may just leave it like this. Because in my experience, new growth will emerge eventually and if that growth become longer, you may cut it again and propagate.
Keep the goldfish plant in a smaller pot and in a very bright location to encourage it to flower. They love humidity but avoid misting their leaves and flowers. Just like this flower, it get misted accidentally. From this look, you may start cutting those leggy stems and plant in another pot, but make sure that there are no buds and flowers. Goldfish plant earned its name because of its colorful flowers that resemble tiny goldfish. The flowers of goldfish plant may be red, orange, or yellow. That's all for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Marami pong salamat. Bye!